Methinks I got this working right. I see that I'm on there. Just uh, let me know you can hear me out there, please. And I will try my best not to bump this camera here as I roll my big body around these obstacles. Okay, see I got a few people that didn't give up on me. Thank you for not giving up on me out there. I got the mic working and uh, we are ready to roll here uh, on my big vintage, well not so big, but my mini little toy box uh, unveiling here unboxing of the toy boxes. Let me set this up a little different. Maybe. Maybe. Alright. What's that light there? Okay. Well, about as good as kids. Alright. Got a couple people. Can y'all hear me out there? Hey Lofty Moose, how you doing? And you can hear me, right? I see the oh I see oh, I might be a little too loud there, sorry. Need to shut my mouth. Let me adjust this a little bit. Maybe I'm so not so loud that okay, that should be better. I'm not peeking out. Um, okay, I think you can you can hear me now. Um, I don't know if I'll delete the first uh, the first part of this because it didn't have any audio. So here I am trying again uh, to un uh, go through some of these vintage toys I found. There we go. This uh, this past weekend at the flea market. Um, What's in the box? Hey, is Lofty, is uh, Cairo Fuller. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Misty and Ray, how you guys doing? Good to, see, to hear from you. I'm going to share some stuff with you right now. Now, I don't know. I'm, I might erase it. It doesn't sound like maybe I made it up. But if you watch um, the first few minutes of this of the video I posted before, I might retitle the, uh, this one to There's Gold in Them There Toys because I emptied out this box. I didn't have any audio on the first um, the first time around here. And, um, oh, good, they can see and hear me. That, that, that's hopefully that's a good thing. So, yeah, so um, I went through this box of erasers and uh, that I got um, for like five bucks at the flea market. They're called Itty Bitties. Look at that right there. I dumped it out on the table, like so, to go through them with no audio. And this was also in the bottom of it, a gold ring. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's real gold or not. I have no clue. Um, I'm looking at it underneath a little bit of, I have like a, one of these deals here on my on my desk here, the uh, little amp, the uh, magnifying glass, <clears throat> and uh, I don't see anything written in there. Matter of fact, if I see anything that looks like some kind of tarnish or I don't know if it's real gold or not or what's going on in here, but uh, like I said, my wife might uh, be able to tell me tell me more about it. Uh, Janet will take a look see at this, and that was a pleasant surprise to find it in there. Um, and I'll go through these things one more time, uh, this time with audio, and I apologize for my first attempt if you try to watch this and didn't uh and, and we're displeased i apologize but uh cool so anyway let's go through these erasers real quick then we get to the bigger box of toys we got an owl a pelican a little uh poodle a strange little kissy face alligator mm, okay a clown everybody loves a clown a duck i should be putting these back in the box here as i go a duck a bear, an anteater. Look at that anteater. Ain't nothing like an anteater, right? Nothing neater than an anteater. All right, a hippopotamus, a monkey, a personal favorite. Look at that little guy. I need a hat like that for Grim. Elephant, another kissy face alligator, a plagiarized little Mickey Mouse character. Another whale, circus horse. Look at that guy. Got the little plume on its head. Hippo, a chipmunk. Oh, look at that little guy. Seal, another owl, some sort of Berenstein bear or something. I don't know what this thing is. Hedgehog. Ah, you got me. This guy's making an ass out of himself. Got a donkey, a little kitty cat right there. Look at that. Dolphin, a skunk. The stripe gives him away. This vulture is pretty neat, a little rubbery vulture, but I remember we used to get erasers like this as a kid on the way to the to elementary school uh, at the candy store. This has some kind of scribble on the bottom. 19, oh, 1960... 66? I think that says... I don't know if you can see that there, but it looks like it says... Uh, probably Bayan Fang, right? Or is that the... I don't know what the... something... 
Incorporated, copyright 1966, I believe that says. Wow, that's cool. These are oldies but goodies. I love that. Snail, a couple snails with really cool hats on, like Andy Cap hats. And last but not least, another whale, albeit yellow. And then, like I said, this, uh, this ring I found in there. It's got some kind of little stones in it, but I don't know. Pretty cool. Didn't expect that one. All right, let's move on to box two. We're just trying to up upload as much content as often as we can on our channel uh, to get more views, to get more subscribers, uh, and hopefully you guys are, this is interesting, you'll share it, and uh, tell a friend, and uh, get us uh, some more viewers and subscribers. This has something written in there, I gotta look at this, let's say it says, Blue Box Toys, okay, I'll have to remember that, I'm not familiar with that, but right off the bat, looks like something interesting, a little well, this looks like part of a play set in here. We got some fencing. We got some fencing here. Not like the sport, but the kind of stuff you, you build a little corral out of to keep your aminals in. A lot of fencing. Get rid of the fencing. Maybe I should just, you know what? It might be more fun if I spilled them out and then went through them. I don't know. Uh, let's see. A guy, I think, this probably goes with it, right? I would imagine. I don't know. I have no idea. This is a big miscellaneous box of, a box of miscellaneous toys so what else we got we got a we got a couple of zebras it's like Noah's Ark a hippo camel polar bear look at that guy he's kind of neat all right what else we got we're going another continent we got a kangaroo this poodle looks kind of old and out of place and kind of neat look at that little girl look at that a farmer with the he's he's raking he's hitting himself in the face with the rake I don't know why he's doing that maybe he's just uh, bored out there on the on the field two geese or two ducks or whatever those are attached to a little this must be a part of that playset too it says Hong Kong on the bottom so these are probably 60s another farmer not that rake is not the best there he's trying to rake something up breaking the dough that's what we're trying to do uh, another kangaroo from Australia, or wherever they're from. Yes, I believe Australia. And there's Jeffrey Giraffe. A little polar bear. I remember this kind of polar bear as a kid. These are probably 60s, 70s toys. Hey, this is really neat. This is like a, well, what is that? At first I thought it was like one of those prehistoric fish, but that's an odd looking fish. And he doesn't have any tail. What's up with this tail? That's kind of weird. I wonder if the, what if the fin was bitten off, but it doesn't look like anything was attached to this. This is really an odd thing. It's not a typical little fish toy. That's kind of neat. If you know anything about these things, please leave them in the comments. You know, these are pretty common, I guess, as far as them being little animal thing. You know, little plastic animals. They remake these things almost every year from the same molds to, to this day. Another piece of fence. Octopi. All those little play school dogs. He's cool. I had him as a kid. A lot of us did, I think. Let's see, a monkey, another monkey. I'm going to have to keep that little guy. I'm going to put him on my shelf here. On my toy shelf. There he goes. This is a little seat that these little play school figures would sit in. I remember having these as a kid. Had all the whole little school set and everything. Loved that thing. Um, what else we got here? We got uh, one of these little, what's that? I say Ibex. I don't know what, the, I forget what, antelope. Not antelope, but African um type of uh, gazelle that's what it probably is um a lion another hippo jeez a lot of animals this is cool i like when it breaks frame a little bit that's like i don't know her name for i know i'm pretty good with the with the cartoon characters but i forget her name characters this is a uh, like it's oh it says marks too oh it's a marks one nice but this is a, a marks yogi bear's girlfriend or his woman i don't know who that is but i have to look i forget her name i should say i look it up that's cool though, but it's Marks. There's Casper, the friendly ghost. And this is weird. I saw this the other day when I was just kind of really quick looking through it and looked at it. Uh, this is a date of like 1970 on it, which is neat. But it's Casper. It looks like he might have been a part of something that spun, or I don't know. Anybody know what this is to? A little Casper, I'll put him to the side. All the animals, I just sort of will maybe lot up and try to sell on eBay. I, I don't know. Anybody want to grill out this summer? There you go. All right to go. I'll put the little grill there for the animals. More sort of, you know, gazelle, antelope, ibex type creatures, goats. Satanic looking things. 
Um, Dark sided. A little uh, sheep. A little woman feeding the chickens. Another Reiki guy. Reiki, Reiki, Reiki. He's doing Reiki. Oh, gorillas. I had a friend of mine, uh, Brian, called me. Neighbor Brian uh, saw that I held up a, uh, one of these gorillas when we were going through our, our haul stuff, Janet and I, a couple of episodes ago. And he saw this and was like, hey, I want that gorilla. He wants to use it for a little Empire State Building model he has. And Brian, I have, I, I, you have a choice of gorillas. This one might look more King Kong, this guy. I don't know. But he wants like a little King Kong gorilla to put on his uh, Empire State Building model. And we have no shortage of King Kongs. So you will have one of those, my friend. Camel. Some sort of tiger. Or as they say in Cleveland, Toyger. This is a really weird little plastic alligator. See you later, alligator. Uh, what else we got? We got a deer. A shark. That shark's really neat. I like that kind of stuff. I was always partial to the, the aquatic animals as a kid, the toy stuff. Here's a crab. <laughs> now I can, I can say that I, I have crabs. Or at least one crab. Oh boy. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. A hatchet. I wonder if this belongs to Molly. Uh, a cow, or a bull, I should say. A lo uh, another. Oh, a lioness sleeping on the on the prairie. This was neat. I pulled this out of the, out of the uh, box that I did too. Um, when we were going through it. This is like a rubber, not a jiggler, but it is rubber. It's not hard plastic. Dolphin. Um, these are pretty neat and kind of collectible. If those anything soft, rubbery, uh, vintage toys are good. Another piece of the fence, another flat alligator. These are really weird little alligators. Another deer, a rhino, a fish. Anything else good in here? More little lions, you know, from old box of toys. Is. Trying to see if anything already. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that's kind of neat. There's something kind of cool. Is he squeaky? He used to be. I have an elephant that uh, my mom had as a kid somewhere around here. Um, it was a little bit bigger than this, but almost looks the same as far as the style. That's really neat. Look at that. Look at that. He, he squeaks a little bit, not too much, but he, he can. He's got. He's still trying to work on that squeak here. Put him to the side. A title. Look at that title. I just throw some uh, some uh, radioactive ooze on there and step back and see what happens. Find three more like that. Another monkey. Oh boy. It's getting a little redundant with the, some of these animals. Cows and hippos and lions and tigers and bears. Oh my, another farm hand here. Da, 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 da. I have another bag of toys too. This is really cool. I don't think I remember seeing a brown gorilla growing up. A little brown one that's like these guys. They're always they're always black like this, but I, the brown one's kind of different and kind of neat. I like that one. This turtle looks familiar, like I might have had it as a kid. I don't know. It's kind of weird looking. Another polar bear. Do I say anything? Nah, that's okay. That's fine. Alright, let's see. And I'm am I streaming here? I guess I am. Am I going? I guess I am. 13 minutes in. There are more geese. Oh, this thing. Oh, there it is. Some kind of a cartoony looking kangaroo. So I really had a collection of little animals here. And there's another one, another fish. Looks a lot different than the other things here. There's another fish. Look at that guy. Kind of cool. A cheetah. Why are you calling me a cheetah? You don't even know me. They had a show about cheetahs a while back. A little truck, and it's you can see when all these um, toys and rubber things like uh, come in contact with each, each other, sometimes they cause a little chemical reaction, and you get that little bit of a weird. Um, plastic melting, you know, the chemicals melt into each other, but this is a kind of a neat truck. That's a ga like a fuel tanker. I wish that thing wasn't broken there, but you know, if it's rare enough, someone will want it. This is really neat. Walt Disney Hong Kong. This is like a little broken uh, Donald Duck. I guess it's, yeah, I guess it's some version of Donald Duck. And it's like this, this like weird hard plastic. Here's a Mickey Mouse. Again, these are all busted up. Second, like, a lot of toys I bought that were all busted up like that. It's got something underneath there. A made in Hong Kong. Little Mickey Mouse. Missing arms. Oh! Pufferfish. Pretty cool. He's spiny. 
these horns. No, I don't say it. Oh, look at this. It's a pink panther head. That's very interesting. I found, um, I bought a couple boxes over the past, uh, that sounded wrong, a couple of toy boxes over the past couple of weeks from the flea market, and I found in one of them a, remember the Shogun Godzilla toys uh, that came out, the big two foot tall rolling toys with the shoot off rocket fist? I found one of those. Uh, well, I didn't find that. I found the fist, and just the fist, not the rocket stem. I, uh, a couple uh, weeks ago, I sold that just just the original fist, which is always lost on those Godzilla toys when you try to find them on eBay. If you can find a Godzilla toy complete, the Shogun Godzilla toys from the late seventies, they're a lot of they're they're like in the hundreds of dollars. Um, a new one in the or one in the box is close to a grand, if not a grand. But I sold that fist for fifty dollars, just the fist, not the stem that would go into the retract the rocket thing to launch it but yeah any part of that Godzilla you can find the tail the fist that's the hard thing to find is sellable on eBay um, another hippo a bear this pink panther head I need to investigate that I don't it looks like it's part of a I don't know it could be part of like a toothbrush thing oh, oh I, I don't know I have no idea uh, why am I trying to guess something I don't know another fish another lazy lion kangaroo let me just dig through this it's getting real repetitive more cows and horses and cheetahs and cows and elephants and this I'm trying to find more unusual stuff in here maybe I can look with me in here there's a, oh that's cool it's a, a pokey from um, from a Gumby Gumby and pokey hey look at this little ankylosaur that's pretty weird and neat I don't know what that would have been a part of it's kind of cool kind of different I think some goofy rabbits, probably some Easter set. No, they almost look the same. What's this say? Number 917, made in Hong Kong. He's all numbered. Here's a little lion. Another seal, a seahorse, which is a little different. Must have been a, an ocean place that they had with all little ocean animals. And some generic little lady plowing or hoeing. That's cool. I like these little. Alligator's pretty neat. He's pretty sweet. So far, I haven't found any more rings, unfortunately. This is all from the same fella, this table. It's the same place I got that Dracula mask, the vampire mask I showed the other day. These are just more like little animals, a little plastic shell, definitely part of a, a sea animal. An underwater sea animal, a place at which I don't think I remember seeing a lot of those growing up, like just a bag of fish. I don't know, and, and undersea things. That's kind of a weird giraffe there he's got some weird markings on him his neck's all twisted weird very cool though he's number two he must be with that uh, donkey that I saw another camel another giraffe another kangaroo a bear going whoa everybody calm down just calm down everybody just chill oh boy <clears throat> this is weird this is like a, whoop, a thing that falls on the ground Looks like a Mickey Mouse hand, <clears throat> or some sort of weird little plastic hand. <clears throat> Again, little weird parts like this could uh, <clears throat> make you some money. I even found in, in another toy box that I bought <clears throat> was I think it might have even been from the same box, but there were uh, a couple of dented-looking car doors, and they were from a uh, I think it was Mattel uh, Smash Up Derby derby game oh this is like a, like a dragon's tongue or something or a snake's tongue probably part of an old plush piece felt but i sold those two car doors for like i think 20 or 30 bucks they were just two little pieces of plastic from a mid-70s toy everything else in here pretty much looks like you know nothing that super spectacular another cool like a norwal or something like that or a little dolphin he's neat more fish yeah, penguins yeah, no rings or no other little cool... Oh, the jackrabbit's kind of weird. Jumping jackrabbits, what was that? That's pretty neat. It was like the rabbit on the racetrack that the greyhounds have to, to chase. I got 11 viewers. I'm, I'm cool with that. I like that. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Hopefully everyone's having a good night tonight. I got one more bag, a little bag of toys I bought. They you know, a lot of toys. There's Rin Tin Tin, right? A little German Shepherd. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, look to see if these things are even, you know, desirable on the, on the eBay. And sell them maybe is just a lot. Maybe I'll sell them by size or or, uh, or the way they look. Okay, so let me put all these things back in the box. And if you're just joining in, I found a gold ring in one of the, in the first uh, box of erasers. And I have no idea 
about this stuff. It feels like steel. I don't know that it's really gold, but I don't know. What, what do I know? That's the fun part of the hustle, right, of doing this kind of stuff is uh, finding out uh, and learning new stuff. And uh, that, <laughs> that way, uh, when you go back out in the field, you're, you, you are good to go. I'm going to keep some of this unusual stuff off to the side. So I'll have to dig it up again. All right, the fish I'll put back. And then we'll get into the, the last bag of, of, of toys that I got, vintage and otherwise toys. This is Casper I want to keep out. And um, I think the toys in here are a little bit newer, but they're, they're fun. That was kind of fun. All right. All right, wipe off the dirt and the dust. And we'll get on, and I'll just pour these out, and we'll look at them, all right? I bought this bag of toys for like seven bucks at the flea market. So let's see what I got. Uh oh, I don't want that getting out. I started off by picking this up and asking about it. It was in a box of like a little flat box of toys, miscellaneous toys. But I saw this laying in there and I asked about it. It's a Knight Rider kit challenge card game. I'm oh, sorry. All right, backwards. There we go. And, uh,. They wanted a buck for this, and everything I picked up was a buck, was a buck, was a buck. There goes Knight Rider himself. But this is really cool. There's only two on eBay. Oh, I thought that said something else. It says it says Tuck. Oops. To reclose, Tuck in this flap. Whoa. But there's two on eBay. One, someone has it marked down to 24 bucks, and someone else has it for 50 some dollars. So it's complete. I counted all the cards, and it's got the, the four little flat paper uh, die-cut kit cards. 108 cards and the directions are in there so that was really all I really wanted but of course when they offer me everything for seven bucks I'm like yeah because I'll probably make my money at least with that so there's a little I forget what these things are called there I'm not a Nintendo or, or video game guy really I know it's a big shock but Janet no. Goombas I think those are called Goombas hey awesome fine hey thanks Bill Summy yeah, this is a Goomba, I'm pretty sure, the mushroom from uh, Nintendo. But this was like a candy tin or something. I looked this one up. I did go through these already and look some of the stuff up. This I have no idea what it is, some kind of hyena creature thing. Uh -huh. This, These are pretty neat. They made some, um, back in the, in the 80s, they made these really funny uh, ninja ba or troll-based uh, action figures. They had a whole force of them. This is the ninja one. It's a ninja troll. I think you could take off the mask. I don't know, but there's ninja troll ready for action. He does, he does not have his accessories. He came with like a couple different things. There are some Tech Deck skateboards in here, which are fun. The finger skateboards. You finger them and they, they roll around with all the cool graphics. Pretty neat. I don't think these fetch a, a ton, but they could be, you know, you can lot this kind of stuff up. Sell them to collectors, you know. It's a collecting the skate, skate deck. Sorry about that glare. All right, got those. What else is in here? Another tech, couple more tech deck boards. Pretty cool. Um, a lot of uh, Pokemon and and uh, and uh, Mario stuff. And this is some generic. It looks like probably something from a birthday cake, right? 1981 Wilton. Oh, I don't know. Look that guy up. You never know with some of this stuff. Just when I think I know everything about toys, which I really don't, I learned something new. Black White Snivy. What is that? What the heck is that? Looks like a top of a pencil sharpener or something. That's a weird looking character. Look him up. Bulbasaur? See, I know some of this stuff. I, sh I don't know why I should. I don't play Pokemon. I don't not like Pokemon. I just don't... Don't. I guess it's just by osmosis, right? I don't. I forget what the turtle's name is, but there's a little another Pokemon guy. These might have all been keychains, I think. Here's one with the keychain on. Here's the the little fire guy and someone's random hair in there and it still had the follicle on it that was very nice can't wait to eat dinner now um burger king put these out uh, some of these things there's another that's a that, this is a pokemon i'm pretty sure the little you're all probably yelling at out the names of these things i don't know here's another baseball player with that 1981 wilton i wonder if these are they look like cake decoration guys right you know they sound like it too when they hit each other this is from was it crazy bones or some weird thing like that little collectible guys it looks like a snot i know and more digimon pokemon this mon that mon hey mon and uh here's some oh what is this thing 
Ugh. He's pretty neat. I didn't see him before. He's like a rubber guy. I don't know what this is. But that's the stuff that intrigues me. I love the stuff, but I don't know what it is. This is one of them Pokemon things, right? You guys all know what these are. There's there's the man of the hour. There's Pokemon himself. You know he was bound to show up. Pikachu. I didn't not Pokemon himself. You know what I'm talking about. Here's another one of those like little I don't know, crazy bones or they were little, little collectible things back in the I'd say the, maybe the late nineties. There's another Bulbasaur. Alright. We got more little guys. I'll clean these all up and probably just sell them in a lot. Why not? I'll sell them in a lot. Why not? A lot of these baseball guys, I, th yeah, I think these were cake decorations. I don't know. But like I said, that's why God invented Google, right? Or created Google. Some people call just, you know, the internet God. Here we go. Another, here's the catcher. Where's the pitcher? Well, what do you know? Look, we got the pitcher and the catcher right here. Right round. Yes, it's that kind of channel. All right. Uh, more little Pokemons. There's Cyclops, probably from um, uh, Toy Biz line of toys. Uh, looks like he might have lit up at one. Oh, his little look at his little visor lights up. <coughs> look out, Storm! Pew 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 pew. He works. And it looks like I'm down to. Oh, look! Oh my God! Look out, honey! Get my dinner, my frozen dinner ready. American Gladiators on. I want to watch American Gladiators. <coughs> look at that guy. He can, he's got a little articulation, but um, I don't think those go for much. And here's a bunch of Donkey Kong. I don't know if these, oh, it says McDonald's. Okay, these are little McDonald's cares. Looks like I got a whole fleet of them here. Mario, Luigi, King Koopa, whatever his name is. And Super Dupa Poopa, there's Mari Hole. I got the whole guys, and there's the one on the, on the thing. Oh, that's really neat. And a couple more things left, so. There's all these fellas, right? At least I have sort of a set here. Maybe I can unload all these for five bucks. I, I don't know. Let's see what it says. There's Donkey Kong. There's another little Goomba. Oh, more Pokemon, please. And more Pokemon. There's a newer Ninja Turtle from the movies. The ones that people said look kind of creepy and weird. Here's a figure from that. He's pretty neat. This is Mikey, of course, with the orange. And I do know uh, the turtles very well. I worked in the licensing department. Uh, where he did a lot of party favors with all kinds of licenses from Disney to to uh, Nickelodeon to you name it, we dealt with it. Marvel, DC. This is neat. This is a Bart's, a one -oh, only one of them in here, but this is a Bart's and it's broken. A Bart Simpson, these would uh, tie onto your shoes, I believe, a lace up. They would lace up onto your shoe, and I think you put the, you tie it in between his neck probably, but these are like little lace. I don't know, charms or something, but there's only one. And last, but not least, this thing. I don't know what this is. This is probably clips on the back of one of these cars, right? I don't know what that is. But last but not least, it's Bill Murray, a slimed Bill Murray. And this is, oh, sorry. This is uh, Ghostbusters copyright DTS. I don't know what, uh, 2016. I'm not really sure what toy line this is from. I have to look it up. But he's got his proton pack there, right? He's got his uh, his gun there, his proton gun. I imagine that's what you call it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. You know, this is one of the things I picked up too, initially until I, I asked for everything was seven bucks. So hopefully, I'll be able to recoup my money from this haul. So together, this was like seventeen dollars. All the stuff you saw, I got for like seventeen bucks over the weekend. Uh, this is just a little bit of what we picked up. And, um, well, yeah, I mean, the cool thing, like I said, I found this cool ring. I have no idea. I'm about to run it down to the missus right now to see what she thinks of it. I'm sure she'll get a kick out of it. That was a surprise, and there was gold in them their toys tonight. Yes, sir. But, yeah, <laughs> so I think I'm going to wrap that this uh, segment up of uh, our vintage toy box uh, reveal surprise. And I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks so much. And uh, you never know we're going to see us... Uh, back on doing stuff so stay tuned to the mummy and the monkey and everything that we do and especially to monster hustle channel if you're into reselling please subscribe uh, share uh, like and all that good stuff 
and hit that little reminder bell so whenever we do a video, whether it's live or uploaded, you're going to be alerted so you don't miss a second of Monster Hustle. All right, signing off right now. We'll see you guys later. Or as Grim would say, see you later, alligators. <laughs>